Today we are going to do an updated video for how to install Open 4 in the new year of 2022. All right. So for this one, the link will be down in the description that will lead you to Open 4's download page. Once you get here, you want to select the green button that says download now. OK, so whatever version that it is on or updated to, it will always have the latest version right here. So go ahead and select the green arrow to download. All right. Once you have that downloaded, on my left hand side, I have one download, which is open for setup. And on my right hand side, I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up. Now let's go back over to our downloads and let's select the OVI setup. Double click on it. When you double click on it, this box will pop up right here. Go ahead and select your languages. Uh, for me, it's only two that, that pop up, English or Russian. So I'm gonna select English, select continue. Then you want to agree um, to their terms. Feel free to go ahead and read it. Always read it before you agree to it. Then select the I accept the terms of this agreement box. Go ahead and check that box. Select continue. Now what we want to do is install the open for to this computer. You can go ahead and leave the installation path right here or you can go ahead and change it. I'm going to leave the path like it is right here and then select continue. Then a little box will pop up. It's going to say download size and it says, do you want to continue? Select yes. After it's done installing, it will say installation of open four has been completed successfully. Go ahead and select close. Now that that is done, we can minimize these windows and you should see a open four, um, you should see an open four icon on your desktop now. Go ahead and double click on open four. Now, this box will pop open. Okay, it's going to have a few games on here, but for today's tutorial, we are installing open four for GTA 5. Okay, so go ahead and select Windows underneath GTA 5. Once you select Windows, a new window will pop up and you want to go ahead and locate your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. You want to select Browse. Then this window will pop open right here. You want to go ahead and locate your GTA 5 directory. It usually will be in your C drive. C drive under Program Files, either x86 or just regular Program Files. Then it will be in either Steam steam apps and then common and then you will see grant that folder five now you want to leave this open right here select the folder then it will let you know right underneath the location it will say successfully gta 5 exe version whichever version it is and it will say open for can work with this file okay once you get that green message right there go ahead and select continue and then you will see backups do not forget to back up your original files before editing go ahead and select continue Now that open four is open, let's go ahead and go to tools, select tools. And now we want to select the ASI manager under tools. Once you select that, this window will open up, which is our ASI manager. What we want to do is make sure that we have everything installed. I already have my ASI loader installed, but if this is your first time, you will not have an ASI loader installed, so you will go ahead and click install. Go down the list, open for .asi, you want to select install, then open for, you want to go open camera, excuse me, you want to select install. After everything is green and has been installed, then go ahead and select close. Once that is done, let's go back up to tools. Select tools, then select options. All right, now that this window is open, let's go over here to mods folder. 
select mods folder and select allow edit mode only for archives inside mods folder. Go ahead and select that. After you have checked this box right here, go ahead and select close. After that is done, go over here and select edit mode. Select edit mode and this little window will pop up, select yes. So before you do any editing inside of your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, always make sure that you have edit mode on and always make sure that any files that you have selected to modify, make sure you have copied those to your mods folder, okay? Now, I do have a link to a mod tutorial playlist linked down in the description. Check that out. That will help you have a little bit more understanding on what open for is used for. OK, plus I have a lot of tutorials on installing different mods and scripts for GTA 5. All right.